Rais alizungumza alipohudhuria ibada ya Jumapili katika kanisa la Faith Evangelistic Ministries akiamua kusema ilikuwa moyoni. Wiki moja iliyopita majengo matatu yamebomolewa kwa kujengwa kwenye kingo za mito kipindi ambacho rais anasema amepoteza marafiki. Been receiving so many calls that you know how can you just sit there and watch all this destruction going on. And I said uh, It's difficult to stop not because we love to destroy but because we must fight impunity. Jengo la kwanza kubomolewa lilikuwa kituo cha petroli na duka la Java eneo la kileleshwa kisha kituo cha biashara cha South End katika barabara ya Langata kituo cha biashara cha UK mtaani Westlands kilifuata licha wa miliki wake kudai walikuwa amepata idhini ya taasisi za serikali kujenga. Rais akisema na bado a time has come for every Kenyan to realize no matter how powerful you think you are no matter how much you think you know people in high position no matter how much money you have that will not save you that will not save you kauli ya rais ikionekana kutoa taswira mpya ya uongozi wake muhula huu wa pili ambapo tangu mapema mwaka huu amezidisha vita dhidi ya ufisadi huku washukiwa mashuhuri wakikamatwa na kufikisha mahakamani matukio ambayo ilikuwa nadra katika muhula wake wa kwanza let us lose friends we will gain others as we move forward let us lose friends and do that which is right in the eyes of god katika taarifa kwa vyombo vya habari kinara wa ODM Raila Odinga na ameunga mkono vita dhidi ya ufisadi lakini akakosoa bunge katika madai ambayo yamejiri kwamba baadhi ya watunga sheria walihongwa kutupilia mbali Reporti uchunguzi dhidi ya askari ya Magendo. Sam Kitoko Citizen, Nepache.